Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Hey Gaia, it's me. Hello, Aloy. Did you wish to continue our discussion? So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. It is true she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city, Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths, at their core, have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just... waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. When we were at the facility where we found Beta, there were records that said Far Zenith were researching embryogenesis. I know they traded their ectogenic chambers to Zero Dawn, but why were they researching it in the first place? At this point, we can only speculate. Perhaps at one time they meant the Odyssey to be a colony ship, necessitating such technology. As their goals evolved over time, so did their areas of research. So they got more selfish as the risks of staying on Earth kept rising. I guess I should get going. As you say. Be well, Aloy.
That's fine. I can take a look if you want. Nah. Usually works if I just flick it a few times with my thumb. Aloy. Hey, thought I'd, uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big. But there's something you need to tell me. While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. 
We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training. Toiling away. Alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. 
You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. I was training. Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the Embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew, and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zenus. The same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. To live on for so long, it doesn't seem natural. Because it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding, any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Far Zenith, yet allow them to capture you? With Silence, there's always an angle. We just don't know what it is yet. What do you make of this Tilda the Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. You brought up Rost before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The Sacred Lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes, when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the Proving, it hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. I should get back out there. 
We'll be here if you need us. Aloy. Uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down at that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay. Uh, what, what can I do for you? You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holofilms. Like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. It seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I can make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, and that's half the fun. Now, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. What did you do? I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. Are you playing that board game I keep seeing everywhere? Oh, you mean strike? Yeah, I'm just trying to you know, get some practice in. Helps take my mind off things. Yeah, it's a Tanakh game. I thought about playing Catalo, but what if he tries to kill me if I win? I think you're safe. Yeah, I don't know. Heard a lot of things about that tribe. Do I smell ale? Yeah, I brought some over from Chain Scrape. Hey, with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my sister always said, anyways. You're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. You be careful out there. 